if you googled the word chingari in early june or before that uh, one of the top search results that uh, that you would get a, would be the famous kishore kumar song called chingari koi bhadke from the movie amar prem today a similar search would fetch results like chingari app chingari app founders chingari app country origin and so on in these past 4 weeks chingari has made a big splash in the technology space it has managed to garner over 1 crore downloads on the android app store and is being pitched as india's own tiktok to talk about the rise and rise of chingari the story of the company and the future ahead we have with us chingari's co-founder sumit kosh sumit uh, thank you for joining thank you madit uh, for having me on your show uh, let me start off by asking uh, the sensational growth that you've witnessed so the story of chingari is uh, more about numbers as of now rather than anything else your mm-hmm. user base has skyrocketed from almost nothing in early june to millions today mm-hmm. what do you think has driven this growth and if if there are some numbers that you'd like to share sure so uh, i mean there are two uh, critical factors uh, that that we that that worked in favor of us uh, one was uh, the rising anti uh, china sentiment in the country because of the you know land border aggression that uh, china was doing and we were here we were making an india app uh, offering a very similar experience to tiktok in terms of creation creation tools um, and, and features so we we, we thought that uh, you know this 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 is, this is something that that will work and obviously the china china apps ban uh, that that uh, you know that led to our downloads skyrocketing uh, for the next two days and and still you know still getting 1 lakh downloads per uh, every hour organically uh, adding a million users a day uh, all organic uh, so uh, yeah i mean i mean the, i think the, these are the two critical factors uh, that work for us uh, Uh, other than other than obviously uh, you know the 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 product being uh, a feature to feature replica of tiktok uh, uh, i mean uh, in terms of uh, providing uh, creation tools or, or you know uh, tools for creators uh, tools for influencers to create videos with over songs over audio clips over dialogues right mm-hmm. so uh, with over uh, i think uh, what's the unofficial number right now 1.7 crores or something yeah so uh, 17 million uh, 17.8 million downloads is is what i can see in the play store analytics fantastic so with with over 1.5 crore uh, downloads on the play store and and everybody pitching you as an alternative to tiktok but mm-hmm. that is not chingari right i mean you've existed for quite some time in fact mm-hmm. uh, if i'm correct you released an app i think way back in 2018 when tiktok arrived in the international markets after merging with musically Yep. So, so tell us about the idea of Chingari that actually happened way before it became famous. Yes, exactly. I mean, I think every app has its day, and uh, uh, Chingari's day was now. I mean, in the recent times. So, we started back in 2018. Uh, so, me and my co-founder Biswatma, uh, we we were we used to discuss what can we build for Bharat. Uh, so, when I say Bharat, Bharat uh, resides in the tier two and tier three cities of India. uh the the so i, I come from a uh, tier 2 city bhilai uh, last hill city which is in chatisgarh uh, you know a small, small town so i i understand uh, the aspirations of uh, of small town uh, people what what aspirations they have so uh, so chingari uh, chingari has has you know that uh, similar aspirations uh, so uh, we observed that musically was really going you know uh, really uh, taking uh, uh, adoption in in the teens in those days and we thought that okay this is something that might work uh, and and musically was not a big company in india uh, you know it was not like tiktok of india or anything it was just just uh, it was somewhere in the top 15 or top 20 in, in the play store but it was uh, really getting traction and how we knew that because i i would see you know my friends and uh, my college friends in those days or uh, you know people in our friend circle they would download musically videos and upload on their whatsapp status so in in india this is a very common uh consumption pattern of of such apps that you download the video and up uh, and share it on your whatsapp status as and every i mean i think 98% of the cons- consumers do this or share it in a group or you know so that that's how that's how we thought that okay uh, we'll start with a short video platform and uh, uh and we were doing this i mean we were bootstrap obviously at that time we were trying to get some traction and get some funding uh so uh b- before before you could we could you know uh get the kind of traction that we have now 
uh, bite dance acquired musically and you know they 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 uh, they got all the users in one tic- one platform called tiktok and then tiktok came to india and invested hundreds or millions of dollars uh, you know obviously you can't compete with them you know uh, in terms of capital or in terms of their strategy but but yeah it was interesting to keep building we, we didn't give up uh we thought okay let's if 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 we if we miss this bus let's uh, let's try news because news was getting popular so we added news feature and we were getting some traction there then we also added games to see like if users retain and play the games i mean we we'll, we we'll keep trying i mean i think uh behind every successful app there is hundreds of failures and after you fail at least 100 times you you strike you know you strike the success uh, and and then finally uh, after after this um, sonam wangchuk video went viral we had that moment that now okay this now is the time this is the time we we need to strike and we have a made in india product uh, and we we need to you know uh, go big and you know go all in and on this right so your watershed moment was surely when it started off with the Sa- sonam wangchuk video and then you got some mentions by i think bjp spokesperson sambit patra and then mm-hmm. uh, i think diplomat sayed akbar yeah sayed akbaruddin shared some well. stats and then mm-hmm. uh, of course uh, the man himself anand mahindra gave you a big 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 in- endorsement yeah 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 how so, did that feel i mean uh, it was absolutely amazing uh, i mean that i mean you can't express that feeling in words i mean an indisless indisless like anand mahindra sir you know tweeting about your product Uh, and giving you a big thumbs up uh, give, i mean i mean supporting I remember, you i remember he said he never downloaded tiktok but then he did download tringari and he was Tringari. loving every bit so, of it yes so it was a, it was an amazing feeling of course right now uh, when you say it's it's an app built for mm-hmm. bharat tier 2 tier 3 cities uh, right mm-hmm. now what kind of uh, traction are you getting from these cities are you are these numbers only from india or you're also you know uh getting users from maybe us which is also a big market for tiktok and yep. is likely to face That's a ban to be blocked yes so uh we are seeing a lot of users from middle east i think um, uh, these are the indians who are there and then watching indian content uh, we have some traction in the us at the moment uh, but not really big numbers i think uh, again i think these are only the indians who are watching the content because we only have indian content on platform we don't have any any you know american influencers or any of those 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 people so uh, whatever adoption we have in other geographies are all indians because you know we have been in the media for uh, in, the, in the indian media for a while and people have been noticing noticing the app so they are just, they just i think they are just downloading and trying it out uh, so we are seeing some kind of kind of adoption in in various markets uh, europe we have specifically blocked right now we, uh, we, we want to comply with the gdpr laws properly and then enter the enter the i mean gdpr is very complex in terms of uh data data has to be in the european servers and you know so we, we uh, so right now we are our focus is not that our focus is anyways in india so we want to uh, you know go big in india and then later on uh, go after the european markets so we have blocked europe for now but yeah in other markets so we are seeing uh, traction in the other markets as well uh, but uh, uh, so so you need to understand that in a ugc creation platform 2% of your creators 2% of your users are creators and the 98% are consumers so our our 98% audience is obviously uh, 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 our 98% of the users will obviously uh, be from the tier 2 and tier 3 cities in india who are the actual consumers of this content and the creators obviously are from, are from tier 1 cities so they will be uh, for now I, i think they are around 5 to 10% but eventually when we grow to 100 million 200 million download scale they will be reduced to less than less than 2% right now um, as you being pitched as an alternative to tiktok i'm sure i mean you yourself call uh, chingari as a replica to uh, tiktok mm-hmm. but then there are you know nuances that differentiate you from the platform you've got a new section you've got some games i think and uh, i mean how do you see chingari different from tiktok and what kind of algorithms are you using for personalization we know tiktok uh, had uh, great brains out there and they had you know solid uh, algos going for them yep, what's yep. the plan you have uh so yeah i mean differentiation uh, wise i mean there is a uh, my minute product differentiation that uh, along with short video we also want to focus on i mean uh, along with entertainment short video we also want to focus on short video news and we have we have got rid of the games from the from so if you are following me on if you have been following me on twitter you would see that uh, the new ux has uh, so we have brought the right. games from the top menu and pushed it to the sidebar 
So if uh, if a user who was a games user, he will anyways find and play the games. But we we don't want to distract a uh, a uh, uh, user who want to wants to consume short video. So you should come to the app and start consuming short videos right away. So we have changed the experience a bit there. Um, in terms of algos, so we are working on AWS models. Some uh, some of the ready-made models are provided by AWS. So AWS has machine learning models for recommendations, uh, which are which are developed by very very uh, you know senior engineers in AWS, and they are working constantly with our ML team, fine-tuning the algorithms, fine-tuning fine-tuning everything in terms of. uh you know so a recommendation model works uh, efficiently when it has a lot of data so i mean, i think we are in a very early stage of our data collection so when when i when what i mean by data collection is uh, uh that you need to at least watch a few thousand videos in the platform so that the recommendation model has enough data about you to properly build and then recommend you you know more content so <clears throat> i think we are at very early stage in terms of that but over time um It, it, this will improve uh, over time uh, we will be learn, able to learn more about you and able to recommend uh, <coughs> engaging co content which with, with you uh, with which you will be engaging more right so, so i can't talk more, more yeah i can't talk like exact details about the algorithm because that's proprietary information but uh, this is what we have been doing behind the scenes right so beyond beyond algorithms and features uh, content is key to an app like this or a platform like this Right. now where tiktok uh, you know allowed the creators to monetize their content you pay creators on the basis on you know the virality of a video uh, mm -hmm. could you expand on how that works for potential chingari creators sure so i mean i think uh, keeping the creators happy and uh, uh, getting them uh, paid is very important for a platform like chingari mm. so uh, we want to pay them from day zero and that is why we have this uh, you know you know uh, pay per uh, view program uh, so we 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 we, uh, we efficient actually uh, uh, effectively calculate the ecpm of the overall platform and that, that and then we calculate uh, 30% of uh, the views and then multiply it by the ecpm and and then we distribute it to the creators depending on how much views their videos got so it's basically 30% of of our overall, overall revenues uh, distributed to the creators and it starts from day one i mean you don't need to have n number of followers to to be no, able no, no. to monetize your videos right if it's viral you earn that 30% of yes. the chunk yes yes because we are already doing some subtle monetization so right now uh, the scale of uh, pay or uh, the pay scale is is on the lower side but we'll will we'll soon be having uh, our own ad monetization model where we'll be getting brands where they can put their own ads on the platform and it will show up as a video a short video a video ad uh so we we will be get, getting rid of the the current ad mob so we have we are also uh, outsourcing the inventory to ad mob right now and they are monetizing it for us uh, but we'll get, we'll be getting rid of that uh, shortly and we are working working on our own internal monetization uh, platform once that is ready uh, uh, we will obviously be making 30% more revenues because right now ad mob charges 30% of the share, <coughs> profit share and obviously this 30% we can you know just give to uh the influencers and 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 we can keep the the remaining so it it will be it will it will be a very pro, it will be a profitable business model i mean uh uh there is no no doubt that uh i mean you know uh, money can be made uh, when you have these kind of eyeballs in this business are you also planning to rope in some of the influencers that were already making big on tiktok uh, yes uh, we are actually in touch with a lot of agencies and a lot of uh, creators are already signing up in the platform right now Uh, we are doing creator deals. We are doing brand deals with them. Uh, so, so a lot of a lot of things are happening behind the scenes. In fact, next week after the new UX is out, we'll be announcing something big um, for creators. So, yeah, I will I will I will keep it for now. But something big is coming next week. Is all all I would like to say. We've dropped a teaser there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how do you plan to moderate content on your platform? Uh, we all know how TikTok has often failed to. Uh, regulate right. content related to pornography, domestic violence, acid dissent, so on and so forth. It's been in the news for uh, all the bad reasons as well as the good ones. How do you mm -hmm. plan to uh, manage content or there moderate are, content? Sure. sure. So there are two things we are doing at the moment. So obviously, like we are a very nimble team, twenty people, twenty people team, a lot of engineers, just four people in the content team. So there. So so right now we are trying to uh, solve it with algorithms and manual. 
uh, checkings. So, uh, so the, there are ML algorithms which uh, uh, you know automatically check a video for, let's say, obscenity or you know, uh, uh, I mean, uh, content which basically uh, is against our terms of service and community standards, and automatically flags it. And then the manual team, uh, and once that is done, it doesn't get get to our uh, video feed. So once a, once a content is flagged by by the algo, it will not go to your video feed. It will not get reached. And then our manual team can, you know, uh, look into it and and remove it from the platform. Uh, and also, uh, the way we have built the algorithm is that initially we give give each video a reach of hundred uh, users, hundred unique users. If the hundred users just watch that video and don't report it, then it goes to thousand unique users. And after that, ten thousand unique users. So if no, none of them have reported the video, then it goes to the full platform. So a video cannot really go viral. in the platform without passing certain checkpoints so 100000 uh, you know 100000 uh, and 10000 checkpoints and uh, obviously there is a constant content moderation team which we plan to scale in the future so my my goal is to have a 100 people team you know in next next couple of months uh, just watching content and uh, removing uh, 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 content with violence comedy standards from the platform right so these are some safeguards we have built for now Right. and obviously we are a growing company we learn it over time i mean i think uh, th- th- this is for the first time that this kind of tech uh, is being engineered out of india so there will be a lot of learnings a lot of interest interesting learnings uh, throughout the way so the the chance that uh, chingaria has got in india also comes from the fact that uh, tiktok and i think 58 other apps were banned by the government because uh, they were detrimental to you know the security of the state and public order uh, mm-hmm. in in light of security what steps are you taking to maintain the sovereignty and security of the data i mean it belongs you have what uh, 1.75 mm-hmm. crores right that's that's a so, big sure. big yeah sure so we uh, i mean obviously data data sovereignty is is uh, is one of the important factors why <coughs> people are moving to chingari and 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 we have time and again said that all the data resides in aws servers in mumbai uh within the, and the data will never leave the land borders of india so uh, your data is obviously uh, you know uh, i mean we follow the data sovereignty uh regarding privacy and security i mean uh, so with regards to privacy privacy we don't, don't really collect a lot of data at this point we only collect your uh, google oauth token and uh, i mean google, google uh, and uh, i mean uh, and then google allows us to you know uh, access the platform so i mean we uh, using that authorization we allow you to access the platform so we we really don't collect uh, uh, you know a lot of user data at the moment just just um, just very minimal data but in, in we obviously want uh, i mean we have to build the ad business at the back of this so in future we will be you know collecting your age uh, your gender and you know other data through which proper through which the brands can target uh, target you on the platform uh, and which is a very normal thing like all all social networks need this data to build a viable ad 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 revenue model ad business model uh, and uh, we are we are working uh, working with the security teams of aws uh, and our own internal security team is 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 you know taking care of that so there there, there is very tight and uh, and uh, you know uh, proper security in terms of data security and <clears throat> behind it aws protected servers so uh, i mean you can be assured that your data is safe and secure and 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 There, there 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 isn't any data that we are collecting there isn't a lot of data we are collecting so with regard to privacy i, I don't think um, you should be concerned right uh, there's also a, a couple of names that have cropped up i mean i wouldn't say the names but yes i'm talking of roposo and metro uh, they've mm-hmm. also garnered millions of uh, users in the past 3 weeks or 4 weeks of time how do you see these homegrown competitors so uh, so i think uh, people are downloading every app uh, that is being built by the media as a, a <coughs> tiktok clone uh, but at the end of the day i think the story is not not about just building yourself as tiktok clone the experience of the app and the strategy that that you have in place to be the tiktok of india it, it will be the key differentiator like how how will you how will you get these influent influencers how will you get these creators to work with you to be loyal creators in your platform and you know have followers uh, in your platform uh, how will you execute that i think uh, that and, and and obviously the product experience 
So are you, uh, does your camera app, the uh, app has the exact same product experience as TikTok? Can you create those audio clips? Can, uh, can you create the videos using audio clips in your audio library? Uh, can, do you have AR filters? You know, <clears throat> can you use the audio clip of another song and you make a video on that? So these are some of the key different, I think at product level, these will be the key differentiators. And uh, I have been following the other products as well as, as a product guy, product guy. And I don't think uh, at, at, uh, at product, they, product level, they are, uh, they, 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 they compete with us uh, in terms of features that we have on the table right now. Uh, we just have to work on our UX a bit and uh, we will be way ahead in terms of features. So music is also key for uh, a short video platform app like TikTok or Chingari itself. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you plan to, you know, bring in uh, maybe uh, composers uh, for original uh, yes. music? So, yeah, so we recently announced that we will be partnering with uh, mus or indie music creators and, you know, paying them a royalty on the music uh, that is being used by other creators. So uh, we'll be keeping a so we'll be keeping a five to ten percent of our of our uh, revenues for these uh, music guys. So thirty percent to creators and maybe five to ten percent. I mean the number has not been yet finalized. We are still strategizing it internally, and it will be different with uh, with uh, with different creators uh, with, with different music composers depending on uh, you know what kind of music it is and how viral it goes and how famous they are. So uh, uh, so. Uh, Chingari is basically a platform. It's a UGC platform. So we we want to give this music cleared creators a platform to showcase their talent. So they can come uh, come to us, give us the music, we'll upload it to the library, and then creators will use that music and then create content. If the content goes viral, it's a win-win for us, for you, and everybody is happy. So are these your short-term goals? I mean, uh, you've planned a UX update. You've got uh, this uh, plan for composers coming up. What, what are, if you could enlist some of the short term uh, goals you have, especially for the product side? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so revamping UX, revamping the back, back end intra, back end infra, getting it ready. So we, we are still adding 1 million users a day organically. So at this rate, next three months, we will be organically reaching 100 million. But I want to reduce that and, and, and do it in a shorter period. So for that, we are doing some strategic events, some, some strategic uh, things. With brands and you know, uh, I can't reveal much now. Once it is announced, you will you will know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, the idea is to get 100 million users as fast as possible, uh, as quickly as possible, and fill this gap uh, gap uh, you know as fast as possible, being the fastest fastest one uh, to do to, to do that. Okay, uh, and are you are you scared of the future? Like such such big numbers? Uh, are you concerned about how? you can retain these users in the long term uh, so uh, i think uh, so i mean uh, if you have been following uh, how social networks are built once a social network gets a network effect uh, the users uh, become loyal to it and the, the users get, i mean so there is only one facebook of the world there is only one instagram of the world uh, there is only one snapchat one pinterest so and there will be only one chingari of the world uh, in those countries where you know uh, people hate TikTok or people don't use TikTok. And even if TikTok comes back after after uh, Chingari has you know uh, has hit the network effect. So the, so the key key word here is hitting network effects. So once we have enough number of influencers with all their followers in the platform, and uh, the influencers have already built their follower base here, they will not be going to any other. I mean, they will not be going to any other platform or or you know move out. Uh, because they have already spent a lot of time and energy building their follower base. So you need to understand that um, this is kind of, uh, uh, I mean, you, the ecosystem gets logged in when you, 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 are, you become a famous creator in a platform. You are kind of logged into the platform because the platform gives you reach and uh, the, the, you give content to the platform. So both of, both of, both of us have a symbiotic relationship uh, and, 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 and you can't exist without the other. So the creator can't exist without us and we can't exist without the creator, you know? So, um, once that happens, once the network effects kick in, uh, after that, I don't think you, you can't, you can be easily replaced. Right. And, uh, beyond all the headlines that you're making, I'm sure you're also attracting a lot of investors. Uh, can you, mm -hmm. can you share your expansion plans and if you've received any interest from an Indian or global VC fund, because you need to raise capital to, to grow and take on yep. the likes of TikTok 
and even instagram reels that is testing in india now yep yep so yeah so we are doing a series a directly uh, skipping the seed round so i used to run an it consulting company so i had enough capital to fund the the growth till till now and, and, and yes we still have money uh, to to scale but obviously we will be needing money to you know compete with the likes of these uh, hyper funded uh, and, uh, heavy companies so <clears throat> we will be doing a series a uh, we are already in talks uh, we will be announcing something by end of this month uh, when the round will close by end of this month and we'll announce it so uh, uh, and it will be a fundraise around 10 million dollars i am guessing that's an indian investor no these are all global vcs there will be a couple couple of indian angels uh, who are writing writing small checks 100k 150 200k but uh, the the lead investor is a global us global vc so in these times how do you see uh, the startup scene in india i mean uh, you're a big name in the community right now uh, are you are you getting some traction i mean are you happy with that kind of traction uh sorry i didn't get the query uh so yeah obviously we are happy with the traction that we are getting no traction uh, in the sense are you are you are you getting uh, decent uh, opportunities in terms of raising capital from indian investors as long yeah, as yeah, you of course i mean i i spend i i think i spend uh, uh half of my day you know pitching uh pitching to investors so i and fundraising is a full time job uh so uh, so we have a team of three three co-founders the other uh, the, the other guys are uh focused on you know executing you know executing the product and everything and uh i mean obviously uh, like i spend half of my day with them but a lot of my time goes into you know talking to investors connecting to new investors and pitching uh, and pitching them about the business so uh, there is a lot of interest um, uh, interest in us i mean i think once in a lifetime of of several companies this this uh, you know this kind of growth happens so obviously uh, like we have we, we have a lot of interest so as an app made in india by indians and for indians uh, what kind of response have you received from uh, the government side of things so uh, yeah i mean very very uh, very kind response actually i was in a panel with the uh, ravi ravi shankar prasad sir on on your story the other day and uh, this this where this was his comments uh, this very comments that i want you guys to succeed uh, and you and metro should compete so it was it was very it was uh, in, uh, uh, very serene and uh, very kind of him to say those words and uh, having 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 you know uh, these these words coming from him were really really encouraging uh, so, i mean uh, i think uh, Uh, even uh, uh, what the decision that they have uh, the, the reason of, of why we are here is is directly uh, related to the to, to the decision that you know the ministry took so so i mean the, it couldn't have happened without the government uh, government support and and they have launched this new uh, contest uh, to support uh, you know app creators or atmanirbhar bharat i mean the government is doing a fantastic job in helping uh, uh, in helping entrepreneurs who are trying to cash in on this opportunity and uh, i mean we now we as entrepreneurs we need to do our part and uh, i think that's all we have for now uh, it was a lovely interview very cool. insightful very candid you've dropped thank a couple you, of big you. you've dropped a couple of big teasers for us a 10 million mm-hmm. in funding and new features coming for the cre- for the users and creators mm-hmm. thank you madit uh, thanks for having me in your show thank, thank you, you. sir thank you all the best bye 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 bye